What the hell is that? What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Monday, October 14th, 2024. Punching Holes Ionospheric heaters create temporary disruptions in the ionosphere by intensely heating specific areas along with extremely powerful radio waves, causing the charged particles there to rapidly recombine and temporarily deplete the plasma density effectively creating a localized hole in the ionosphere electron concentration. This disruption can affect radio wave propagation and many other atmospheric conditions. Now holes in the atmosphere, in particular referring to the ozone or protective layer, can significantly increase the amount of harmful radiation reaching down to the ground where we live by reducing the strength of our protective layer that normally shields us from these high energy particles. Exposing all life to damaging levels of radiation. This is especially concerning because of the increased ultraviolet radiation B and C passes through these holes reaching us. You would find these events are caused by mad scientists and not an invisible enemy, like all of climate science would have you believe. The system and all of its tendrils have literally kept us in a dark age for hundreds of years. I've shown you these facilities, I've given you the papers and studies, we have seen the destruction time after time, but all of the programming we have received since birth will stand in the way of understanding. So why am I telling you all of this? Well lately I've seen a lot of posts telling us to go outside, take off your sunglasses, soak up the sun get some vitamin D and ground with the earth. All of these things are incredibly beneficial to the mind, for the body, and our very spirit. Or they should be. Ionospheric heaters have altered our atmosphere. Now you really do need UV protective sunglasses. The increased ultraviolet radiation is highly damaging to both skin and eyes, causing severe burns and even sunburns of the cornea. This also contributes significantly to the development of skin cancers including melanoma. Now personally, I would never use lotions or other products sold over the counter. I wear UV protective clothing, UV protective sunglasses and a big hat. We are no longer in the good old days. What we are experiencing is literally the darker cult's dream come true. When you hear they, I'm always referring to the controlling entities that have created our science from their dark perspective. These are the very same entities that create our food, our medicine, our diseases. They control the media and big corporations. Every aspect of our lives have been controlled and real knowledge has been forbidden. Why? Because if you knew the real truth, you would revolt and they would no longer have the upper hand. All right, guys, I'd like to thank Wendy Walser Brandt, Someone, Barbara Henson, Melissa Martin, and Michael James. Much love and many thanks. All right, my friends, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.